What's going on? It's R Dub. And um, today we're going to be installing Slackware Elite, which is 13.37. Um, I'm going to boot off a pi the Pioneer DVD RW. But the thing about it is, you know, when you get to situations like this, maybe you burnt a CD too fast. Um, maybe you have a USB thumb drive you want to boot from. Today we're going to install it from a Samba Share, a CIFS file system, which is on my Windows computer, and I'll show that at the end and when I'm running. Okay, so we go right here, boot up the DVD RW, and this is Slackware inst installer, pretty normal, all command line. BZ image, compressed kernel. And the thing about it is that my CD drive is faulty. I have it on some USB dongle thing and it's starting to go out. And I really don't feel like soldering new parts or going out and getting anything new. So I do the, Samba, the CIFS mount and install it from there. And it's pretty fast. The Windows computer, the root drive, has a RAID 0 on there. And it's running gigabit. So I'd rather do it on there and have it be pretty responsive to do it on a CD, CD-ROM drive that's connected to a USB 1.1. So let's see, there goes the kernel. It's booting up. USB storage, yeah. And then right here, you can hardly see it. I kind of have this cropped a little bit here because it's in 720p and everybody wants it in HD. So anyways, here, login is root, whatever. You can just press enter right here. Now CF disk. I'm going to do, um, let's see if I can have you guys see it a little bit. There we go. CF disk, and I'm going to go slash dev slash SDA. And you can already see from right here, I have my partitions already set up. I, SDA1, I have extension 2, SDA2, extension 4, then SDA5, I have a swap space, even though this thing has 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, let's just exit out a CF disk. And let's clear the screen and let's go to setup. Right here is a setup for Slackware and cursors, and it's a um, command line interface pretty much. Um, if you're using US, you don't really need to set up too much more. Go to add your swap partition. SDA5 is the swap. So say OK. I don't want to map anything, I don't want to check for bad blocks. Say no. Now here's my little secret. SDA2 is the root partition, which is the slash, so we format that with extension 4. Extension 4 is pretty nice. And let's see, and, this, and the extension 2 right here, format extension 2. Why I do this is because I like to store my kernel images right here, so if I compile a kernel and I don't, let's say, um, include extension 4 or XFS or riser killer file system in there, uh, extension 2 by default is, all, is usually always compiled into kernel so you don't have to worry if you miss something in a kernel usually if you put the slash boot direct subdirectory from the root in there you're gonna boot there if it's extension 2 um, you don't have to have a kernel panic get it anyways slash boot okay now right here is the meat and potatoes install from Samba Share right there and um, what's the IP? What's the IP address of this? This computer is the is the alpha computer. It's the lead computer in my cluster project, which is called Inu Cluster. So um, I'm gonna do it 192.168.1.1. All right. And uh, subnet mask, right there. Perfect. And do I have a gateway? Heck, no. Yes. Now what's the um, IP? The IP address on my Windows machine is 192.168.1.2. And the share is um, Slack share. That's the uh, Windows share I have on there. And then you type in Slackware64, which is where the, um, where the packages are. Press enter, and you should see this. It says, a Slackware package tree was found. Oh, good. Ready to continue. You want to try setting up Sama again? Heck no. Let's go install. Okay, everything here. I hate KDE. 
I wish I could take it off, but I want to have everything, including the kitchen sink, into this installation. So yeah, full 6.5 plus gigabytes of software recommended. This is Slackware, the hardcore Linux, the Unix of the Linux. Love it. If you're doing this, you're elite. Just like the distribution says, elite. 13.37. Go to full. Installing packages. Now, watch this. See how fast that is? That's how we want it. Cups. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Ooh, did it just install? Okay, kernel huge. Oh, kernel modules, look at that. How fast is that gonna go? Ooh, 100 megabytes. Okay, that's nice. Anyways, that's how you do it um, by Asamba Share. If you're using Unix, Linux, you're gonna wanna use um, NFS. Of course, NFS is sweet. Um, I'm gonna have more videos later about the NU cluster project. I'm still deciding on a distributed clustered file system environment. And right now I'm looking at the Gluster file system. I'm trying to avoid Lustre and Oracle in general. You know, us Linux, true Linux guys, really hate Oracle. Anyways, I said I was gonna show my Windows computer at the end. And let's see what I'm running on the Windows computer, okay? Ah, what's that? Oh, let me back up a little bit. Woo. Let's see. I know, this is kind of janky. Uh, oh yeah, Halo. Whoa, what is that? 40-inch oh, screen. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. That's why you have to have the Windows machine. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm out. Um, yeah, I know. I wish I could run this on Linux, but oh my God, OpenGL, Mesa backend drivers, um, tungsten drivers, whatever. It's it's just not cutting it. The drivers, the binary blobs, they aren't cutting it. I wish because Linux is just so much better for 3D. I wish there'd be some really cool things. Anyways, that's enough from me. Um, doing all my jargon and talking a whole bunch of BS and my opinions. So, um, anyways, good day. And, um, time to play a little Crisis. Later.